Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es un gran momento para aprender español con Profesor Pablo. Sorry, I've been off the grid for about four or five days. I'm back on the grid here for about a half hour. Then I'm back off the grid for another bunch of days. But we have many, many, many more lessons coming. We'll be back. Okay, to operate on. I picked a quick lesson because that's all I have time for. You know how you say, like, for example, when I had my knee operated on, I wanted to tell people they're going to operate on my knee. Me van a operar la rodilla. It's a three-step process. Take your pronoun to indicate the person that's being operated on or the people that are being operated on. Then either they're going to operate, they operated, or they are operating. For example, if you get a phone call and your wife is getting her knee replaced, at, right at that moment you'd say, Oh, they're operating on her knee. You would say, le están operando la rodilla. Le están operando la rodilla. If I want to say they're going to operate on my arm, me van a operar el brazo. Okay? They are going to operate on his hand. Le van a operar la mano. Operaron. Let's say yesterday he had his feet operated on. They operated on his feet. He has neuropathy. Le operaron los pies. Okay? They operated on her mouth. Le operaron la boca. Notice in English we say his feet, her legs, whatever. In Spanish we just go with the article, the la or the el. Or if it's something plural like los pies, los or las. Let's look at our clusters of nouns. La rodilla, knee, el brazo, arm, la mano, hand, el ojo, eye, los pies, feet, la boca, mouth, el codo, elbow, la cadera, hip, el tobillo, ankle, la espalda, back, el cerebro, brain, la muñeca is wrist, that's also a word for a babe, a real good looking girl. Que muñeca, ay, que muñeca, es una muñeca. Muñeca is also a doll. Muñeco with an O is an action figure. Muñequito is an action figure for like little kids. But la muñeca in terms of anatomy is a wrist. La pierna, leg. La nariz, nose. El hombro, shoulder. El corazón is heart. And el ombligo is belly button, okay? Hombro is shoulder, not to be confused with hombre, which is man. Okay, knee, arm, hand, eye, feet, mouth, elbow, hip, ankle, back, brain, wrist, leg, nose, shoulder, heart, and belly button. Van a operar, they're going to operate on. Operaron, they operated on and están operando, they are operating on. And why is it in the they form? Because it's a teamwork effort, right? You got the doctors, you got the nurses, you got all the aides there helping out, right? There are a lot of people working together as a team to operate on someone. Now, like I said before, generally you say may or lay. Let's say uh, you have twins and both of them have some problems with uh, their feet and they're getting their feet operated on the, uh, next week at the same time, you'd say, they're going to operate on their feet. Les van a operar los pies. But let's be realistic. It's going to be me or le or te. You want to ask your friend, are they going to operate on your arm? Te van a operar el brazo. Are they going to operate on your eye? Te van a operar el ojo. Are they going to uh, operate on your elbow? Te van a operar el codo. That's how it works, okay? So if I want to say they're going to operate on my dad's, dad's back, le van a operar la espalda a mi papá. Le van a operar la espalda a mi papá. Me van a operar la rodilla. They're going to operate on my knee. They're going to operate on his nose. Le van a operar la nariz. They're going to operate on her heart. Le van a operar el corazón. Most of the time we use van a operar 
because we're anticipating, right? When you have a surgery date, it's set usually months in advance unless it's an emergency, and you're telling people ahead of time they're going to operate on, they're going to operate on. And then when it's over, you could say, oh, yeah, they operated on his hand. Le operaron la mano. Uh, they operated on her belly button. Le operaron el ombligo. There you go. And están operando, if somebody calls you in, in the time period that the operation is taking place, they're operating on his brain right now. Le están operando el cerebro. Dios, por favor. They're operating on his ankle. Le están operando el tobillo. They're operating on her leg. Le están operando la pierna. They're going to operate on my wrist. Me van a operar la muñeca. Okay, to say that they're going to operate on you, me van a operar plus the body part. To say that they operated on you, me operaron plus the body part. To say what they operated, right? And to say what they're operating on someone, le están operando. They're operating right now on his elbow. Le están operando el codo. Okay? Uh, they're going to operate on her hip. Le van a operar la cadera. Three-step process. Your pronoun, which is going to be me, te, or le. Priority is going to be number, is going to be me, and then le. These are the pronouns that we use mostly with this. Okay? Unless you're talking to a friend and you ask him, wow, are they going to operate on your arm? Te van a operar el brazo? And he says, si, me van a operar el brazo. Okay, there you go. It's a quick lesson. That's all I have time for. I know it's kind of rushed, but there you go. All right. Cuídense mucho. Tomen su agua. Sean buenas personas. Diviértanse siempre. Y cuídense mucho. Hasta pronto. See you soon.